What's up Guardians? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a guide video. I'm sorry this video is so late in the week because come reset you may not be able to continue this bright dust farm. However, if this bounty ever comes back you can definitely continue this bright dust farm. It's pretty insane and I want to show it to you guys right now. I haven't watched a whole bunch of bright dust video farm videos and I don't know how accurate those types of videos are in terms of um, in terms of if they're actually giving you good information, if they're giving you farmable information. To me, a farm is basically being able to do the same thing over and over again an unlimited amount of times. So, uh, this farm's pretty insane, and I know that a lot of people are itching for Bright Dust right now, especially because these stupid things are either $24 or 15,000 glimmer. Along with the tribute haul, it's just, it's nuts. Okay, we need Bright Dust. Plus, Shadow Keep coming out. You need Bright Dust for all of those different items as well. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to get into the farm though. So, the bounty we're picking up, we're spending three Eververse notes, bounty notes, to get this Engram, or this bounty, which will give us 70 Bright Dust. There is one tier higher, which is 150 Bright Dust for six, which basically means you get an extra 10 bright dust per note rather than you get an extra 10 bright dust um, after spending six notes so to me not worth it considering the activity requirement which is complete three heroic adventures this one says te kill 10 hive mini bosses now the way we're gonna do this you have to have you're gonna have to have the annual pass for this but you get the bounty and you load up, let's see, where is it? You load up Crown of Sorrow Raid, and when we fly there, I'll kind of show you the loadout we're using. But we go Leviathan, Crown of Sorrow, okay? Sorry, I just hit my desk with my kneecap, whoops. Um, so we load up Crown of Sorrow. What you're gonna wanna bring is a tractor cannon or some kind of debuff, and for me, I'm bringing two trench barrel shotguns. If you don't have a second trench barrel shotgun, that's perfectly fine. Just bring any shotgun uh, that you have in your kinetic slot. So, Parcel of Stardust, I just did a video on that gun, obviously. Imperial Decree works. Um, threat level works really well. Even Curated Threat level, that's great. Um, and then, obviously, if you have an Iclos, that's fine. Mindbenders, that's fine. Any shotgun in that in in slot is perfect. And then, obviously, Tractor Can to debuff these knights and bounce them around. We're doing this on Well of Radians, which really doesn't matter that much, and uh, it just helps for a little bit of survivability to make it go a little bit faster. So the other thing you might want to bring is one raid banner, um, a couple raid banners, one raid banner, however many raid banners you can bring and waste, and you're willing to waste on this farm, is perfect, alright? so. Um, we're loading in right now, and then I'll show you exactly how you're going to kill these mini-bosses. So, obviously you load into Crown of Sorrow, and if we go over here, we already have 8 tractor can shots, so I'm not even going to worry about dropping a banner. And of course we hit a load screen, that's great. Anyway, so we go to the tractor cannon, we go to the door obviously, open the door. If you've never done this raid, that's perfectly fine, if you don't know what you're doing at all. That's perfectly fine. Essentially, there are blessed knights, and these count as hive mini bosses. However, because of the raid mechanics, you can't kill them currently, but you can hop in this thing, get your witch's blessing, and it's all set. So, you tractor cannon both of them, and you kill them. So, at this point, you have one of two options. You can either run and jump off the map and reset the encounter and then kill them over and over again however there are all uh, knights that spawn around the map so the other thing you can do is just try and kill as many of them as possible so that you don't have to go through the white screen as much so I'm hustling over here now there's a knight right there cool so I've killed about five knights now and we're just going to keep continuing until we get 10. There's some more that spawn over here. And then eventually you're just going to die to the adds. However, the idea and goal is to kill as many as possible. 
So we killed a bunch there. Let's go to our pursuit tab while this load screen um, pops up. And we've killed six knights. So I'll show you your other option if you don't want to do that for whatever reason. However, I think just running around and trying to kill as many things as possible is going to be your best option and your fastest option to getting this done. Because as you can see, this load screen, it takes a while. So very annoying. Hop back in the buff right here. Tractor, shotgun, tractor, shotgun. I think he actually dropped tractor ammo. Oh, yeah, he did. Perfect. Okay, so now I think we just need to kill two more. So, obviously, you can run and jump off the map right there where I just shot that knight to. However, I feel like that's a waste, so I'm just going to keep running around. Okay, and that should be the bounty done. Cool. So then, um, to avoid another load screen, I'm just going to go to the back of the map, essentially and load up the so after at this point you've completed the bounty so obviously you can turn the bounty in whenever you want but you go back to eververse at the uh okay i think i died in game all right um yeah i think i died in game but that's fine it's not the worst big deal ever we're just gonna do the bounty right now let's uh turn in the bounty obviously so we get our 70 Bright Dust, I actually just completed my bounty for Ikora. And... Oh, I guess I did launch the tower. Okay, I did launch the tower. Okay, so um, now we're going to fly back to the tower and you'll be able to see, we're going to be able to collect that exact same bounty again. I always thought that the Eververse bounties were once a week per character. Turns out, once you complete one, you can grab it again. So we just earned 70 Bright Dust from there, and we turned in three of our uh, Eververse no Bounty Notes. Um, now it's up to you how many you want to spend in terms of notes, but for example, in my case, I haven't been doing this very often with the notes, and so I have, um, I have over 350. If I turn in, if I do this enough times where I turn in 300 Bounty Notes, that means I would have done a hundred runs and 70 times a hundred in that case is 7,000. So I would have added, once I did all that, I would have added 7,000 bright dust to my total. And as you can see, it's very tedious farm because you have to go through all these load screens, but it's a very easy farm compared to doing three adventures. And in the adventures case, we would have turned in six notes and we would have received 150 bright dust however with this you do two of these you turn in six notes you get 140 so you lose 10 note 10 bright dust every six notes however in terms of time efficiency this is way faster than doing um three adventures so three heroic adventures maybe another week when this bounty comes around the times three event won't be the the six bounty note won't be as difficult and maybe you'll want to do that one instead but currently this is extremely fast obviously so that's really good um overall this farm really works i just want to show you getting to the tower and being able to collect the bounty again but otherwise that's basically the entire video i'm sorry this got out so late i literally learned of this like a day ago and then i've been uh I've had to do things the last uh, basically day and a half or whatever, so I'm finally getting to this, and hopefully you guys see it, hopefully you guys use this, and hopefully in a future week when this bounty comes back, then you can really take advantage of it. So um, I'm just going to show you guys real quick before we get going. There's the bounty. You can obviously collect it again. That's really great. Um, if you were doing your blue solstice armor and you just wanted to do the bounty section, you could obviously farm some bright dust at the same time. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully some of you guys get to farm a shitload of bright dust from this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. See ya.